going on? It's your boy, El Biggie, coming through in the night, Rider. You know I'm blessing the Lord. Holla, baby, excited about Jesus, excited about the Word of God. My cup ran over, and I still want some more. How about you? Man, what's going on? I got a special guest on here uh, tonight, this evening, and uh, he's very excited to be here. He's with the Land Star, and um, uh, I w I've been talking to him for the last, probably the last month, month and a half, maybe two months, uh, but uh, he's going to share some of his experiences with you and before he does that uh i want to just introduce to you mario i ain't gonna give you give your whole name out your uh blood type it's good, it's good. <laughs> what's going on man i'm good i'm good man uh for for the viewers who watching i'm mario uh my youtube name just mario um uh, been been with landstar now since uh june june 14th was my lease day I'm actually uh, running high shot on Landstar. Uh, started out running running big trucks for three years, and I kind of branched off and started doing my own thing. I had business partner, so I just kind of wanted to do my own thing. But uh, you know, with Landstar, man, I'm enjoying it, man. Uh, it's a lot of freedom. I don't have nobody bringing down my neck, bothering me. I don't have to worry about doing no office work, nothing. I just roll and and be happy. All right, well, check this out right here. So, number one, uh, uh, you don't you don't pull a van, you don't pull a flatbed, you don't pull RGN. What do you pull? Um, I'm running a flatbed on a high shot truck, forty foot trailer. Uh, I got a forty foot uh, gooseneck trailer, split axle, twelve thousand pound axle. So, you know. It's rated up to 24,000 pounds, but I don't ever run it that heavy. The heavy I ever ran it was about 22,000 pounds, but that was still too much for me. That was still too much. My truck handled it fine. You know, I was up and down the hills, pretty big hills at 75 miles an hour. It killed my fuel, so I won't ever run it heavy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, check this out right here. I see you walking around. I see ambulances and stuff in the back. What is, what is all that? What's going on? Oh man, I'm at I'm at work right now. I'm at the fire station, man. I'm actually a fireman full time. Been a fireman for eleven years. I'm also a paramedic. So today I'm actually riding on the ambulance today. Uh this is my first shift back after these five shifts. We'll have six days off. And then when I come back, I'll be driving this the fire truck. So we rotate back and forth. All right, so on your time off, what you be doing? On my time off, I'm on the road. Yeah. I'm rolling. I'm yeah. trying to get paid. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go back. Let's go back a minute because uh, because I know we spoke before. You you were saying that you had your own authority, had trucks, right. you was doing the business and everything. But you know what? Right before you answer that question, I want to throw this in here. I want uh -huh. you to make sure that you uh, take the time to call G A D. That's the sponsor yeah. for the video. Video G A D. Everybody who listening to the video, I want you to make sure. I want you to say that with me. G as in G ghost, or G as in God, or G as in grasshopper, or G as in gangster, yeah. or G as in gorilla. I want you to call G A D. Okay, G A D. And the reason why I want you to call them because if you want to bring your truck over here to Landstar, guess who's gonna help you through the process? Guess who's gonna help you unbiasedly through the process guess who's gonna walk with you talk with you hold your hand through the whole entire process guess what gad guess who cares for you gad and so i want you to call them give them a phone call and i'm not going to put it up here right now but the phone call will probably be down below on the screen up above on the screen on the side or something like that so i want you to make sure you call gad and no matter if you're a no matter if you're a uh you know if you're if you're in alabama or if you're in georgia or if you're in california gad they got loads everywhere i mean this is one of the top grossing agencies at landstar and so um man I, I i'm excited to be with them so you know and i'm making money and so i want to make sure that you call gad matter of fact uh and tell them your boy l boogie or larry cochran sent you l boogie tell them l boogie sent you <laughs> All right, um, so we were talking about you having your own authority before. Man, yes. what was that? What was that like? I mean, don't tell no names or nothing like that. But tell me what was that like? Because you know, you got some people who had a good 
experience with it. Some people don't have bad experiences with it. Let me know your experience. Oh, my experience. So let me first tell you how I got into the business first. All right. So the way I got into the business, <clears throat> it was something I was always interested in running trucks. All right. Here on the fire department, I got two, two people that also drive trucks. One has been driving trucks for like 30 years. Uh, when I was still a firefighter, he was actually my driver. And I used to have conversations with him all the time about driving trucks. He didn't really take me serious. So finally, I said I wanted to start a trucking business. Went to a uh, truck driving school in Texas, a small school called Rapid CDL. Mm -hmm. uh, on my vacation from the fire department. So I was off for three weeks on vacation, went to truck driving school, got my CDL, got some money. And when I bought a truck, bought a trailer, got my authority, or I applied for the authority first. And it was just <laughs> like crash course from that point on. So no experience. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't have no experience, no company. Zero. And Nothing. I didn't have no truck. And got no car. experience. I didn't know nothing about trucking at all. Zero. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, <clears throat> you know, I, even though I had authority, I leased to this company uh, here in Shreveport, Louisiana for 30 days. Mm -hmm. Well, I know numbers. And the numbers didn't match up to me. I hired a guy, but the numbers didn't match up. He had my truck there, he had a lot. And I was like, man, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose if I don't do something different. So mm -hmm. after the uh, first week and a half, I had already planned in 30 days, I'm going to give him the, uh, the basically my lease termination and I'm going to run under my own authority. So that's what I did. I bought my, uh, my insurance up to a million dollar coverage. You got to have at least $750,000 to, for your MC number to be active. So I bought it up to a million dollars start running uh on my own now it was scary because i didn't know crap i went from running lows to waiting on this company to pay me to figuring out how am i gonna get paid now i don't even know the process to get paid so my driver run lows i was calling the brokers and i was basically on the phone with these people like hey this is me uh this is my first time. I don't. I need to bill you, and I don't know how. I am 100% clueless. Can you please help me? And they did. They didn't have a problem with it. They told me create an invoice or create an invoice number. Uh, put their invoice number on, on it also. Send in the uh, rate confirmation with the with the sign bill late. Yeah. And send it in for payment. So I had the invoice, the rate con and the uh the, the sign bill of late proof of delivery send it in now when you run your own authority the net is 30 days yeah we, we can we can talk deep in depth about this in a little bit but it's supposed to be 30 days yeah so you have to have enough money to last you for those 30 days at, at least. least you need at least about 30. 90 days yeah but yeah, at least 30 days. Because you still have to pay the drive every week. You still have to have fuel in this truck every week. And, you know, the list goes on. Yeah. So, that was the beginning of it. Uh, I Like I said, I didn't know nothing. Well, I had a driver that had experience. They worked for big companies. Mm -hmm. And every chance I got, on all my days out front of the fire department, I was in the truck with him. And I was watching everything he was doing. And I was flipping through his books. And that's how I picked up on how to run flatbed. Because I didn't have a clue before that. Not a clue. So once I learned, you know, I bought books from the bookstore. And I just continued to study and study. So I was doing office work. And I was actually in the truck driving. I was doing it all. And hiring, firing, uh, compliance, maintenance records. Uh, man, you name it. I had like 10 roles. Yeah. And for me, everybody's not going to have the same experience. But for me, it sucked. It sucked big time because I was doing too much. Yeah. But 
I also had to watch my costs because I was just starting out and you know I still want to make money yeah so man sorry about uh, all this walking around but uh my freaking battery is about to die so I need to get a charge bro, right quick <laughs> one second one second all right well uh <laughs> while you getting that right there man uh one of the one of the main things that uh that I know we talked about uh before is you know being prepared and a lot of people man they're not prepared when they're when it's time to come out on the road or when it's time to you know go to the go the extra mile and you know get your truck and everything like that right there and i know that you talk you talk about having enough money for those th at least 30 days and then also yeah. having uh you you might as well have enough money for 90 days and man to, for you to be able to do all of that then plus you got to hire and find drivers and stuff like that man if you don't have no system set up or if you don't have nobody oh. To help you, man, you're gonna be doing all of the work yourself, and that's that that can be gruesome. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I like, you know, that's why I like Landstar because Landstar gives you a platform to start out. Even if you want to go get your authority, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you you can start out, learn the process here, learn the process of you know saving, learn the process of you know talking to the brokers, talking to the agents, talking to uh you know corporate or you know learning how to resolve situations on your own you know yeah uh, before you you know go out and get your own authority so uh -huh. yeah i mean you know for me that's 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 like gold for me and the reason for it is i actually have something to compare to you know and a lot of people they do not i went from having my own everything having to do everything to being stress-free more time with my family uh just a lot of stuff that i don't have to worry with now yeah and so, you know uh-huh so with landstar where all do you be running to and so i know you're oh. you're, you're out of louisiana so uh -huh. where all do you where all do you run to hey man i go where the freight is okay <laughs> I, I mean, I've I've been to Wyoming, I've been to Colorado, I've been to Florida. Actually, I just got back from Florida yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas. Man, to be honest with me, the way my schedule work and also running hot shots, it's a little different than running big trucks because it is so much more freight available on a big truck versus a uh, hot shot. Yeah. So... And you have so many hot shot drivers to the point that I mean in some in some way you kind of competing for free. Yeah. I mean I, I hate to say it like that, but in in a way you are because a lot of people want the same lanes. They they don't want to stretch out. So, you know, as soon as you get an alert about those loads, somebody else already called on it. Yeah. They they're not trying to go to freaking if they from the, if they're from the south they're not trying to go to New Jersey and Maine and all these other places. Mm -hmm. So I mean you're really in competition to be honest. But the difference with me, if I say I'm gonna run the load, I'm gonna run the load. Your load is gonna be secured properly. Uh, I'm gonna be there uh, earlier than the time they gave me, and and I'm always keeping in contact with the brokers uh the shippers the receivers everybody hey this is where i am all right i'm out of time i'm shutting down here for the night or whatever the case may be when you when you continue to communicate with with these with the shippers the brokers whoever i mean that that eases their stress level and also you don't have to worry about them constantly calling hey what time are you gonna be there what's this what's that i, I don't worry about any of it but i just keep in contact it's, it's no big deal for, for them to, for me uh for them to know what i'm at because i'm not doing anything wrong anyway i don't have nothing to hide. I, I want you to be comfortable with me i want you to i want you to use me again yeah now check this out right here uh uh as far as uh as far as being with your own authority I want you to tell uh -huh. me one, one good experience, and also one uh, horrific experience. 
uh, keeping the time short. And also, you drinking these Red Bulls on here, we're going to have to get a Red Bull. You know, Red Bull. Gonna oh, man. Up, man. Hey, like, on my like, Facebook thing, <laughs> I lied, but I said I, I work for Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Red Bull, y'all need to, y'all need to uh, get in contact with me because yeah. I drink a lot of Red Bull. Yeah. But uh, besides that, good experience. Yeah, I, well, is, well, 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 hold on. I want you to give me a good experience. Huh? Uh, one of your best experiences that you done had with having your own authority, and one of your worst experiences you had with having your own authority, and then also I want to give—I want you to give me the best experience you've had with Landstar, and the worst experience you've had with Landstar. Okay, that's that's cool. So, <clears throat> the best experience for me under my own authority is freedom. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want to. Yeah. Point blank. If I want to run and I want to make seven thousand dollars this week, and I decide I don't want to work none next week or the week after, I can. I don't have nobody to answer to, and that, that was just the beauty of having your own because yeah. you don't have to check in with someone all the time. Mm -hmm. The worst thing, and it was pretty bad. <laughs> so. Um, one of my drivers was, he was delivering a load somewhere in Dallas mm -hmm. and the receiver would not unload the truck. It was saying that we wasn't authorized to haul freight. So I was trying to figure out why and they were saying that we didn't have insurance. So I'm like, no way. I just paid these people probably $15,000 this month. $15,000 to the insurance company. Jeez. So I called my insurance agent <clears throat> and I asked him what was going on. And he was saying he didn't know why, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, I found out that when I made my payment to my agent, he didn't send it in to the insurance company, which my company ended up getting shut down and they sus the, the federal motor care suspended my authority so my driver just had to sit in dallas for a couple of days he couldn't move yeah and we went through all this red tape just to prove that i paid my insurance and they got my authority back active and we can roll again well now in the system is showing us to be a brand new company even though we at the time we had already been rolling for two years yeah so you know you have people to constantly stay on people. To, huh? People don't want to touch you when you're a brand new company. Exactly, exactly. A lot. Most people want. They want you to have at least six months of, uh, I guess, operating authority experience or however you you word it. But they want you to be be operating for at least six months. Yeah. I don't know the full reasoning why, but it's just how how it is. Yeah. So. You know, uh, uh, the benefit was I, I've made a good name with so many different brokers to the point when I get in contact with them and they say, hey, we're showing y'all to be a new company, can't get you to work. And I, I talk to them personally and they remember who I am and they say, oh, okay, don't worry about it, we'll send you the load. It's no big deal. Yeah. So that's the thing. I, I, I built the, I, I built a pretty good reputation. Everybody I dealt with, everybody, uh, they 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 knew they knew me by name from the. Uh, hey, somebody, hold on. I'm sorry. You got you got a little wall piece for the charge. My phone about that. Oh, like a block. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go look at go look in the captain's bedroom. Uh -huh. There's one sitting on the bench. It's been sitting there forever. All right. Yeah, so yeah, tell, us, but, tell us about those two experiences with Landstar. Oh, well, the bad, the, <clears throat> the, the bad which I don't even really say it's bad, but I guess it's bad for me. So I called this uh, broker on this don't, low... Don't tell the broker name. Don't tell the broker name. Oh, no, I don't, I don't even remember his name, to be honest. Yeah. I don't even remember his name. But uh, I called him about low going from Houston to Little Rock or whatever. said the low was $1,400. That's what it showed on the board. Well, when I called him, told him who I was, told him who I was with, and this guy said, well, yeah, I still had a load available. I'm paying $1,100 on it. I'm like, oh, really? I said, well, are you the only one with this load? Because, I mean, this load's showing $1,400. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I'm the only one with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm paying 1100 So I was like, no, nah, I can't run it low, man. I, ain't, I don't run cheap freight. Well, I spoke with my agent, my advisor. I'm sorry. I spoke with my advisor, and my advisor, I told him what the situation was. He called that same broker, and the broker told him $1,400. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he told me to call the guy back. Which I did not. I just found a better paying load. They paid more money. And I just ran that load. So, I mean, basically the way I look at it is, I mean, if you're going to lie to me about it, I don't even want to deal with you at all. Yeah. And what's your what's your best experience that you done had over here at Last Star? Man, man, the, the best experience, hold on, let me, I know I'm messing up, but I just want to make sure my phone ain't about to die. Hold on. Okay, okay, Georgia. <laughs> <coughs> Now, my best experience, man, to be honest, for me, everything is a good experience for me. Because number one, I'm always looking for the positive side for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing is the fact that anytime I call anyone with Landstore about anything, they're extremely helpful. Uh, I don't have the stress of needing some and can't get it. Uh, man... <laughs> Service on the table, service on the table. Yeah, I'm messing up. Hold on. Hey, I'll be down in a second. Oh, uh, man. All right, your dinosaur chicken nuggets got a couple minutes left anyway. You guys, idiots. So, <clears throat> man, like I say, I don't. Every, everything's good experience for me. The the routes I run, the amount the loads pay. Um, anytime I need some, I call. I can get whatever I need, uh, no matter what it is. Hey, I don't know how this works. Or uh, I need help with this. All right, no problem. Uh, let me let me run you through it step by step. Yeah. Uh, you know, paperwork. Send the paperwork in. It's it's freaking easy as crap. Yeah. I just get my bill late. Fill out that uh. They cover sheet, send it in, in the trans flow out, done. Uh, payments, you go on your calm down card. I just call that one eight hundred number on the bank, transfer it directly to my bank account. Um, now you know it's an app for that, where you don't have to call. Oh, I need to use that. It's, I, called, I, it's called the Fleet Advance app. All you gotta do is put your two cards in there, and you can transfer it right over to your bank. Or, see, or you can see. give, uh, you know, give somebody a come check or whatever, and you know, you put the come check number in there, you put the amount that you want to draft the check for. Once you do that, it'll draft in there, and you good to go. Cool. I'm glad you told me because I need to use that. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing that that you told me about the uh, the the I guess discounts on the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know it. See. But, uh, proud to you telling me i didn't know that so yeah. i mean it's yeah, a lot yeah, of benefits yeah 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 got a lot of pro, a lot, lot of benefits you know discounts on fuel at the pump i mean discounts on tires i mean you name it the, the prepays it's two dollars and fifty cent a, a, a month i think i was paying seventeen dollars a month under my own authority a lot of the same stuff that i had under my own authority the prices of it was through the roof. With Landstar, everything, everything is a whole lot cheaper. Everything. Yeah. yeah. And so, so, it, it, so it would make sense to come over here, build a fleet, you know, throw a truck on here, throw another truck on here, throw another truck on here, and build the fleet with an agency like GAD, you know, uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, go get some contracts or something like that, something the way you always know you're going to have some, some uh, uh, money coming in. And you don't have to be searching the low board trying to figure out, hey, look, this, that, third. So, yeah. Yeah, man, that's that's definitely my plan. Uh, I don't have a time frame on it. Yeah. I would actually have to write out my business plan under the Landstar umbrella. Mm -hmm. But my plan is to be a fleet owner. Yeah. Because, I mean, <clears throat> I would like for to have the additional uh, income without the stress yeah, yeah so yeah. land store and when you and when you do the numbers and stuff like that you can 
you can see like out of that 35 percent or how much ever uh you know whether it be 30 percent 35 percent uh if you got somebody in the truck or if you got your own trailer or whatever you can see mm -hmm. what people are uh you can see you know how much land stars get on those on those good weeks it's like man i'm giving away this much money but at the same oh, yeah. time the stress you, don't have to worry about. you ain't got to worry about you know if the uh, stuff like that right there and and the money and even if you had somebody else i look at it this way you know looking at it you know with a broad from a broad spectrum you know even if you had like somebody to do that for you you still got to pay them you know you still gonna have to pay them to take care of your stuff you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. so you know having a peace of mind is just priceless so yeah man <clears throat> You know, a few things, when, when you're under your own authority and you're booking loads, so I'll give you an example. The, the loads that I run with Landstore, I'll run the same loads under my own authority and everybody, every broker, whoever I dealt with, it didn't matter. They always try to give me the same load for a whole lot cheaper than a big company like Landstar. When you have so many trucks that you bring into the table, you can you can put, up, I mean, pretty much whatever price you want to put on it, you know, still be reasonable, but you can put whatever price you want to be on because those companies need as many trucks as they can get. When you're on your own authority, your funds is going to be quite limited compared to a big company. So your chances of getting contracts with shippers, direct freight contracts, it does happen, but your chances are a lot slimmer compared to a big company. And those companies want you to run this freight for a whole lot cheaper. So even if you do the numbers, not only are you getting the freight for a lot cheaper. So just look at it like, okay, well, if land start getting 30%, well, you basically still getting the freight for the same amount I'm getting it for. No you still coming out on top because your insurance with Landstar is like extremely cheap, extremely cheap. Uh, you know, you're not coming out of your pocket for, well, you can, but you don't have to come out of your pocket to pay for few. Every load you book, you could just do a pre-trip advance on it and just let the load pay for the few. You don't have to worry about paying out of your pocket. Yeah. When you're on your own authority, you got to pay for this fuel out of your pocket, of your credit card, or uh, however you're going to pay for it. But you got to pay for it. Yeah. You ain't getting no discounts at, at the pump unless you're under some type of program. But you ain't getting no discounts at the pump. You ain't getting a discount on tires. You ain't getting a discount on the insurance or none of that crap. So you're getting chopped down freight and you got to pay insurance. It's through the roof. You got to pay for these tires at full price. You got to pay for fuel at full price. You got to do your own IFTA. You got to pay for these uh, drug permit. tests. Yeah. Your own permits. Respond on the 9378. Crest Street, engine 19 code response. 7 minutes oh, are activated. <clears throat> Crest Street's brushing by you. It passed your place. Respond on Alright, cool. That's not me. Not my truck. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but you constantly, you, oh, and even, even if you have a dispatcher, you got to pay that dispatcher also. Well, you're already getting chopped down freight, and you got to pay drivers, dispatcher, yourself, fuel, maintenance, and you got to try to put some money in the savings account. If you have a truck note, trailer note, you got to pay for all that out of this chopped down freight. Yeah. So, so what... So give me a price of dispatcher. How, how much would you have to pay a dispatcher on, on average for every week? I had uh, I had one dispatcher that I was paying 5% off, off of each load. I had another dispatcher that I was paying 7% off each load. I've talked to other guys that was paying dispatchers 10 and 15%, which I wouldn't dare do. I wouldn't dare pay that. But... The dispatcher that I was paying seven percent to, he worked a whole lot harder. He he earned he earned his seven percent. I can tell you that. Yeah. He, he definitely so earned. It. How much would that be in dollar signs? Like, it, was that is that like a hundred dollars a week or what? 
to be honest, I, I really don't remember. I know sometimes it was it was a good bit because. And how many trucks did you have at, all at one time? Three three trucks running okay. three trucks, and you know total. Uh, even on the slow week total, uh, I was still do about twelve thousand dollars with on on our three trucks. Mm. But sometimes, you know, it's been times that I've done twenty thousand a week uh, with three trucks. Uh, sometimes it, I mean it fluctuates a lot. Yeah. Because I mean the holidays just I mean just there's tons of factors that go into it. Yeah. 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 So no, it, it'll be it'll be anywhere from twelve to twenty thousand a week up and down. Yeah. Well, what I want you to do, I want you to give your YouTube name one more time. We are gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, are you are you on Instagram too? No, I'm, I need to get another Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't been on Instagram since two thousand fifteen. <laughs> Because I was married, and it was so many pictures of me, my wife, the kids, the whole nine, to the point where I got tired of deleting after the divorce, and I just deactivated the page. All right, okay. I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one. Let us know YouTube name. Uh, on YouTube, it's uh, just Mario, J U S T M A R I O. And if I'm not mistaken, it's just Mario. One two zero five twelve oh five. I right. just recently created that, so you know, right. give well, me the link. I can send you a link, and you'll get on on the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give uh, send me that link, and I'll uh, put it in the description when I uh, when I create the video. But anyway, you've been listening to Mario, and you've li been listening to your boy L Buggy in the Night Rider. You know we blessing the Lord. How to favor the side by Jesus. Excited about the word of God. Our cup is running over, and we still want some more. How about you? And, let's, and guess what? Don't you ever take no wooden nickel. And guess what? We'll see you at the top, because the bottom is too crowded. And I like my space.